Well, the man taking center stage in the impeachment inquiry today has a connection to a major project being built right now in downtown Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Jeff Newmeyer has this update. The hotel still doesn't have an official name, but city leaders are calling it a big win for downtown. At the beginning of June, shovels turned dirt in a groundbreaking ceremony for the 124-room specialty hotel at Main and Harrison Streets. Vera Bradley co-founder Barbara Backgard recruited Provenance Hotels out of Portland, Oregon to develop the property. We're told it's right on schedule. Probably by January or February, we can expect the building to be fully enclosed. The deputy director of redevelopment for the city of Fort Wayne says the upscale hotel will have a rooftop bar and dining and other amenities not found anywhere else in the country. This project alone will be infusing millions of dollars into our community, you know, for decades. What you might not realize is that the owner of the company developing the downtown boutique hotel is making headlines right now in the impeachment inquiry. Was there a quid pro quo? Gordon Sondland, the U.S. ambassador to the European Union, has been a critical witness about what pressure President Trump might have applied on the Ukraine to push an investigation of the Bidens. Sondland owns Provenance Hotels. A spokesperson says Ambassador Sondland stepped away from the company when he assumed his post with the federal government. Since then, he's not been involved in either day-to-day -day operations or administration of Provenance Hotels. Abe Schwab teaches applied ethics at Purdue Fort Wayne. He says Sondland giving up day-to-day -day operations with his company reduces conflict of interest concerns in his ambassador role, but he says more could be done to fix this situation. We could have laws that simply prohibit public servants from owning specific investments. That is, they can only have like blind trusts or something like that. We could have that law and so we could make it so that those individuals don't even have a conflict of interest scenario. Sondland's ties to the boutique hotel will have no impact on the project getting built. It's scheduled to open in late 2020. Jeff Newmeyer, Fort Wayne's NBC. Providence, a Providence rather, hotels owns and manages hotel properties in places like Seattle, Palm Springs, California, uh, Nashville, Tennessee, and New Orleans.